Now that all of your guests have finished eating, they're probably ready to pay and you're probably ready to get rid of them. So I'm going to show you the quickest way to close out their checks. So again, we're at the main screen. We're going to swipe in with our micros card. We're going to pick up check. Keep in mind that um, on your service days, there will be many tables in here, depending on how many you have as a server. So you always want to make sure that you're working on the right table number. So in this case, there's only one on here, but be sure you're looking for the correct table number. So we're working on table 54. And so now um, all of these annoying customers have decided they want to pay separately. So we're going to show you how to split up their checks. So what you're going to select is function over here. This blue button down here at the bottom says split check. Go ahead and do that. All right, so they're going to split it four different ways. So we're going to add, oh, we're going to add new checks. So we have two here. So we're going to add for seat three and seat four. All right. So seat one is good. They're over here. So now we're going to take seat two and we're going to drag it over here. We're going to press seat three, drag it over here. We're not dragging, by the way. I shouldn't say drag. We're tapping. And seat four. And keep in mind, I'm tapping what says seat four. I'm not tapping any of the individual um, courses. I'll and be tap tapping it over forever. Here. Oh, yeah, or you would be tapping forever. Now, one of the special instruction, instructions on your proficiency test says that seat three is paying for seat four's dessert. That's nice of him. Isn't that nice? So we're now, in this case, we're going to select a specific course and we're going to tap it to seat three. So this way seat four is only paying for their appetizer, their entree, and their beverage, and seat three has taken over seat four's dessert. Okay, so now we're going to select done. That will save the changes. Yes. And it's going to start printing out each of the checks. So this is for seat number one. Oh, excuse me. This is seat two and seat three. And seat four. OK. So now we're going to go back to the main screen. And we're going to press print. And now you have four different checks. And you can see that you have all four of the different checks because you can see right up here it says table 54 slash 1. That's for seat 1. And then up here it says table 54 slash 2 for seat 2. And the same goes for 3 and 4. And you can bring these checks over in one of the little silver trays and present it to each one of the guests individually.